Hi there, everybody. The Kaizen Sensei here with the whiteboard. Today's topic is what is Kaizen? Kaizen means good change. It's part of this culture of continuous improvement. Now, in our last video, what is lean? I covered what Kaizen is and how it fits into lean. Okay. As a summary, there was three types of Kaizens. Okay. Three charter blitzes and just do it. Okay. Now the first two charters and blitzes. Okay. Are project management activities. Okay. It requires you to complete several forms, one for charters and one for Kaizen blitzes. These forms, excuse me, these forms go to management, they review it, okay? Then from there, they either uh, approve or disapprove. And once it is approved, <clears throat> then they have to go through a planning stage, determine the strategy, step-by-step -step process on how to uh, enact the actual activities to uh, make this improvement, this good change for the company, okay? The third one, just do it, will represent about 90 to 95% of the Kaizens that a company should collect. Now, instead of management getting involved, this is actually the responsibility of people I call boots on the ground. I'm talking about the shop floor people, the operators, mechanics, machinists, forklift drivers, people in the warehouse, the shipping and receiving people, okay? The uh, people in the office, the people who uh, work in billing, clerks, HR personnel. Again, these are boots on the crown, on the ground employees. We're talking about probably a majority, if not more, of the company's workforce. Now, let's go as to the theory behind why just in, I'm sorry, just do it is important, okay? <clears throat> Taichi Ona, the founder of uh, the Toyota Way or Toyota Production System, in his book, Workplace Management, wrote a part that we as individuals are mistake prone. An average person makes mistakes 50% of the time. Okay? If we were like Einstein, we would only make mistakes 30% of the time. <clears throat> I'm I would consider myself average because I make mistakes. I've known this throughout my life. I just don't know how to stop it. And I kind of like follow Confucius uh, uh, saying that if uh, a wise person uh, realizes that he or she makes mistakes, owns up to it and fixes it. Now, a lot of times why we don't fix these, mis these little small mistakes. Okay, now I'm talking about the small inconsequential mistakes that uh, we kind of like sweep under the carpet, dismiss and forget about. The reason why we don't like to kind of like advertise it is because it makes us think. We think that by making mistakes, we're stupid, okay? That's a perception. And then some people actually feed into this perception. While we're changing this culture in Kaizen, that it's okay to make the mistakes as long as you acknowledge it and you fix it immediately through just do it or just fix it, okay? Now, in Liker's book, The Toyota Way, 14 Management Principles, number five states, build a culture of stopping to fix problems to get quality right the first time, okay? So that's kind of like telling you something, okay? It's, 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 it's giving you this opportunity, okay, to develop a mindset, 
of behavior and back to this culture thing, okay? By having the boots on the ground participate, okay? That gives them a, a, an opportunity to engage themselves, to empower themselves to affect good change. Now, what's important that once you make these changes, it's the responsibility, okay? The responsibility of the uh, company uh, Kaizen Sensei or even the supervisors to go jemba, which means place, to go to the shop floor and ask everybody, what is your Kaizen? How many Kaizens did you do? And then log them in the Kaizen log. See, this is important because if you, if you document it, have a gigantic binder of these testimonials, all it does is supports the efforts of engaging and empowering employees to continue to go ahead and fix, not to look at mistakes as, as, as a gauge of who you are, but as a gauge to actually show people that, yes, I make mistakes, it's mine, it's me to fix, and I'm going to put it on the log, okay? So, when you participate in this form of operational uh, excellence, this culture of continuous improvement through Kaizen, what it does, it makes the company more effective, more efficient, more productive, obviously more profitable, but what it does to the individual who goes to work, it makes that person better in who he or she is and what he or she does. So anyway, I hope you like my little presentation here. Um, until next time, peace.